And uh, we're gonna use some real simple ingredients for this recipe. We got some celery sticks, carrots, organic, Ooh, pot rolls from the bargain bin. Love it. Uh, some red potatoes, which I've peeled, Medallia onion, mushrooms, baby bellas, beef stock, diced tomatoes, and maybe a tablespoon of this. Yeah, I'm kind of on that kind of stuff. And we will also be adding some garlic, which I don't have that yet. But trust me, <laughs> it'll be in there. You got a good fire going. Before you get your uh, veggies cut, go ahead and uh, set your cast iron on there. This is a Lodge 12. Got some olive oil on the bottom. Got to get this closed. Too much fire. What's going on? But we do want it to get really hot. Good and hot. Hot, hot, hot. Look who shows up. Hey, what you doing over here? Cooking some food or something? Hmm, what is that, beef? I like beef. Hmm. I don't smell any beef on you, though. Oh, there it is. So we got our ingredients all prepped. Let's see. Oh. These onions will spread apart. I like nice, nice chunky pieces of onion myself. Got our garlic, celery, beef. We're gonna saute that. Good enough to eat already. And last time I made this, and yes, that was a barbecue pit boys reference. Mm -hmm. Barbecuepitboys.com. Love them. Uh, I just used Montreal steak seasoning and it came out really good. So we're just going to do the same. Then just splash of it in there. Close that lid and uh, let that cook for a little bit. Well, I gave him the horn, anyways. So our meat's been browned. I'm gonna add our mushrooms now. They're too big for you. Just break them up. All right, so we let that go for about 10 minutes. That was looking good. Now, I'm gonna have my uh, diced tomatoes. Open them in there. Let the liquid out. Give it a stir. that reduced just a second and uh, we'll be right back all right this has been simmering down for about 10 minutes now we're gonna add our beef stock Let that get up to a simmer and then I'll add the rest of our liquid. All right, as you can see, we got a good simmer going on this. We're gonna add our potatoes and carrots. And, oh yeah. <laughs> there it goes in. And we're gonna add about four cups of liquid. I 
might opt for more. Let's see where it levels out at. That looks pretty good actually. I did put a tablespoon of the better bouillon stuff in there. One full tablespoon. Oh, oh baby. Now I might add just a little bit more liquid in there. Or not. Actually, I think I might let it cook like it is. Cause I'm gonna serve this over noodles. So I really want to come up with a gravy. All right, we're gonna close the lid and let this cook. I'm gonna turn down the vents a little bit. I'm gonna turn the vents down after uh, I get back to a simmer. Oh, look at that. What do you think, dog? Come on. All right, end of the night. Looking good. And I'm guessing I'm gonna have to add more charcoal here because I let it burn so hot for so long. Temperature's been hovering around 300, but I can look down in there and mostly what I see is ash from the royal oaks. Hmm. Well, we'll see. All right, so I did add some more charcoal. Let's take a peek. <coughs> oh, baby. Excuse my fingers. That is looking good. So, for actual Pit Boss Ceramic Grill information, with the plate in, I have all the vents wide open, and that's keeping this just at a boil. Too much steam. Hard to film. Yeah, it's looking good, though. Mm -hmm. Meat's not quite falling apart yet. <clears throat> Yeah, it is. Look at that. Slicing right up with a wooden spoon. What about our potatoes? The potatoes look like they're done. I think we're almost about done here and ready to thicken. Let's check the carrot. Yeah, carrots look done. That's my test. Just push something through it and see if it's done. Good. Fire. Time to get this lid closed again. Let's shut this down a little bit. Let's take her down to one. Like I said, this has been wide open the whole time. Let's uh, get it down there. And then here in a little bit, I'm going to add some thickener. 300. Yeah, so it takes about 300 degrees to maintain a simmer in that thing. Just so you know. And we'll get back to it here in a bit when we do our thickening. All right, so we're back. And what I decided to do is what I did last time. Last time, I made this. I made it at my brother's house. And I couldn't find any flour. Any cornstarch. So, what I did will use was, was uh, bisquick and water. Just three tablespoons of bisquick and a little over a cup of water. Looks like a cup and a half. I'm gonna add that in there. It works really good.
foam up on you first. And then it'll clarify. See our colors coming back there. And thick sauce. Mm. want to see. Mm. Right. Nice and thick. I'll put the lid back on and we're going to let it simmer. It'll continue to thicken up just a little bit. Not much more though. Perfect. Look at that thick gravy. The meat falls apart. Let's try a little bit of that. Mm. Perfect. There you have it. This actually isn't for eating tonight. This is for tomorrow. And again, we're gonna uh, make some nice, big, hearty egg noodles. And we'll be dumping this right on top of those. And for tonight, I'd say we're about done. We're gonna close this up. And uh, just leave the bench where they're at. Let her simmer for a while and pull her off. A pretty simple stew to make and <laughs> so good, so delicious. You don't need figure tons of seasonings out, just use that Montreal seasoning. It works great when you're browning your meat, put it in there. Uh, the diced tomatoes give it a nice savory flavor. Mm. I think you'll like it. Give it a try. And I thought the pit boss did pretty well. Though, not 100% sure on the Royal Oaks uh, lump charcoal. Maybe it's just a bag I bought, but it just looks like a bunch of thin pieces of charcoal bark, basically. I don't know. There weren't any big, thick pieces in there that I like. You know, that keeps it going for a long time. Anyhow, we'll check back with you after a while. We'll see you. All right, before we head to bed, I thought I'd pull a bowl of this out so you can see how it looks. Mm. Oof. It looks delish. A little snaggy before we go to bed. Look at that beef. And tomorrow, we'll shoot one more with it over the noodles. Till next time.